Ever find yourself overwhelmed by the chaos around you? It seems like no matter where you turn, stress and negativity are everywhere. Why does it feel so challenging to stay calm amidst the storm? Have you ever wondered how some people remain unshaken, even when life throws its hardest punches? Imagine this. You're having a perfectly fine day when suddenly, someone cuts you off in traffic. Your immediate reaction is anger, frustration, or maybe even resentment. Why does a simple incident like this have the power to unsettle your whole day? What if there was a way to stay calm and unaffected, no matter what life throws your way? Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where today's exploration is all about mastering the art of remaining unaffected. This video will dive deep into how you can cultivate inner peace and resilience using principles rooted in Buddhism. By understanding and applying these principles, you can learn to navigate life's challenges with grace and calm. But first, if you're finding this content valuable, remember, there are so many views on this channel, but only 0.2% subscribe. So please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring more wisdom and insights to you. Now let's embark on this journey together. Imagine having the ability to face life's ups and downs without letting them disturb your inner peace. This isn't just a dream, it's a skill that you can develop. In this video, we'll explore practical Buddhist teachings and practices that will help you stay centered and unaffected by external circumstances. As we begin, think about the last time you felt overwhelmed. What if you could handle such moments with a calm and collected mind? This isn't about suppressing your emotions or pretending that everything is perfect. It's about developing a deep-seated resilience that allows you to remain steady, no matter what's happening around you. Throughout this series, we'll break down the concepts and practices that can help you achieve this. From understanding the nature of our responses to external events to applying mindfulness techniques, you'll gain insights into how you can build a more resilient mindset. So, Stay tuned as we uncover transformative advice that can help you remain unaffected by the turbulence of life. Whether it's dealing with stress at work, conflicts in personal relationships, or unexpected challenges, this video will guide you toward a state of calm and inner strength. Let's dive in and start exploring how you can master the art of remaining unaffected. The journey to a more peaceful and resilient you starts right here. Stay with us, and let's transform your approach to life's challenges together. Lesson 1. Understanding the concept of emotional resilience in Buddhism. Imagine you're standing in the middle of a storm. The wind is howling, rain is pouring down, and the trees around you are swaying violently. In the midst of this chaos, you find yourself standing firm, unaffected by the tumultuous weather. This is a bit like emotional resilience a core concept in Buddhism that helps us remain calm and steady amidst life storms. But what is emotional resilience, and how does Buddhism guide us in developing it? Emotional resilience is our ability to bounce back from difficult situations. It's like having a mental shield that protects us from the emotional turbulence of life's challenges. In Buddhism, emotional resilience isn't just about surviving tough times. It's about transforming our response to them. So, how does Buddhism help us build this inner strength? Let's start by understanding how our emotions work. Emotions are like waves in the ocean. They rise and fall, but they don't define the ocean. Similarly, our feelings come and go, but they don't have to control us. Buddhism teaches us that we are not our emotions. We are the calm observer of these waves. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by your feelings, like they were too powerful to handle? In those moments, it might seem like you're caught in a whirlwind with no way out. Buddhism offers a way to step back from the storm and watch it from a place of calm. This perspective helps us understand that while we can't always control the waves, we can learn to surf them. For instance, think of a time when you were upset about something that, in hindsight, wasn't as significant as it felt. Perhaps you were frustrated with a minor inconvenience, but over time, it passed. Buddhism encourages us to see emotions in this way, temporary and passing. By recognizing this, 
we can practice letting go of intense reactions and instead observe our feelings with detachment. Welcome to Wisdom Woven. Here, we dive into the heart of Buddhist wisdom to uncover how we can remain steady, no matter what life throws at us. If you find this insight valuable, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for more transformative advice. In Buddhism, emotional resilience begins with understanding the nature of suffering. We all face difficulties, loss, failure, disappointment. But Buddhism teaches that our suffering often comes from our attachment to things being a certain way. When we cling to our expectations, we set ourselves up for disappointment. By learning to let go of these attachments, we can reduce our suffering. One key practice in Buddhism is mindfulness. Mindfulness means being fully present in the moment without judgment. When we practice mindfulness, we become aware of our thoughts and feelings, but don't let them control us. For example, if you're feeling angry, mindfulness helps you notice the anger without being overwhelmed by it. This awareness is the first step in building emotional resilience. Another important concept is equanimity. Equanimity is the ability to remain balanced and calm in the face of both joy and sorrow. Imagine a pond that remains still despite the wind blowing across its surface. This stillness is a metaphor for equanimity, being stable and peaceful regardless of external circumstances. Buddhism also teaches the practice of compassion, which is essential for emotional resilience. Compassion involves understanding and empathizing with others' suffering without being emotionally dragged down by it. By cultivating compassion, we not only help others, but also strengthen our own emotional resilience. It's like having a sturdy bridge that connects us to others without being swayed by their emotional currents. In summary, emotional resilience in Buddhism is about understanding the transient nature of our feelings, practicing mindfulness, and cultivating equanimity and compassion. By adopting these practices, we can build a solid inner foundation that remains unshaken, even during life's most turbulent moments. In the next part, we'll explore specific Buddhist techniques for maintaining this inner peace and resilience. So stay tuned for more practical insights on how to stay unaffected by the chaos around you. Cultivating inner peace, techniques from Buddhist practice. In a world full of chaos and noise, finding inner peace can seem like a distant dream. Yet, Buddhism offers us timeless techniques to achieve a calm and serene state of mind. Imagine a serene pond reflecting the clear sky, undisturbed by the wind. This is the inner peace we aim to cultivate. Why is inner peace so crucial? Think about a time when you felt overwhelmed by stress or anger. These emotions can cloud your judgment and make everyday life seem like a stormy sea. Inner peace, on the other hand, is like a calm anchor that keeps you steady and focused amidst life's turbulence. Buddhism teaches us that inner peace starts with the mind. One key practice is mindfulness. Mindfulness means paying attention to the present moment without judgment. For example, when you're eating, truly savor each bite. Notice the flavors, textures, and smells. This simple act of awareness helps ground you in the now and prevents your mind from wandering into worries about the past or future. Another powerful technique is meditation. Meditation is like a workout for the mind. Just as physical exercise strengthens your body, meditation strengthens your mental focus and emotional resilience. Start with just a few minutes each day. Find a quiet place, sit comfortably, and focus on your breath. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath. Over time, this practice helps you build a solid foundation of inner calm. Buddhism also emphasizes the importance of compassion. Compassion isn't just about being kind to others. It's about being kind to yourself. When you're harsh on yourself, it's like adding more weight to an already heavy load. Instead, treat yourself with the same compassion you would offer a dear friend. This self-kindness helps reduce inner conflict and fosters a peaceful mindset. Understanding the concept of impermanence can also enhance your inner peace. Everything in life is in constant flux. Just as seasons change, so do our emotions and situations. 
By accepting that change is a natural part of life, we can let go of our attachments and embrace a more serene outlook. For example, if you face a setback, instead of dwelling on it, recognize it as a temporary phase. This perspective helps you remain calm and composed. Another technique is to cultivate gratitude. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. Each day, take a moment to reflect on things you're grateful for. This practice not only uplifts your spirits, but also strengthens your sense of inner peace by redirecting your attention from stressors to positive aspects of your life. Letting go of grudges and past hurts is also essential. Holding on to anger and resentment is like carrying a heavy burden. Buddhism teaches us to release these negative emotions through forgiveness. Forgiving others, and even yourself, doesn't mean forgetting or excusing wrongs, but it frees you from the weight of carrying them around. It's a liberating practice that helps maintain inner peace. Creating a peaceful environment can support your inner peace. Surround yourself with calm and harmony. This doesn't mean changing your surroundings completely, but rather making small adjustments. Perhaps you could add a few plants to your space or create a quiet nook where you can meditate. A peaceful environment complements your inner work and reinforces your sense of calm. Finally, consistency is key. Cultivating inner peace is an ongoing journey. Just like tending to a garden, it requires regular care and attention. Make these practices a part of your daily routine. As you do, you'll find that inner peace becomes less of a distant dream and more of a steady companion in your life. In conclusion, Buddhism offers us a treasure trove of techniques to cultivate inner peace. From mindfulness and meditation to compassion and acceptance, these practices help us maintain a serene and balanced state of mind. Remember, inner peace isn't a destination but a continuous journey. By incorporating these practices into your life, you can navigate the storms of life with calm and grace. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of inner peace. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into these practices and how they can transform your life. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more insights and guidance. The role of mindfulness in staying unshaken. Imagine your mind is like a serene lake. On a calm day, the water is clear, reflecting the beauty around it. But when the winds of life blow, whether they are strong emotions or challenging situations, the surface gets disturbed. To stay unshaken, we need to cultivate the ability to calm these waters. This is where mindfulness comes in. Mindfulness is like a gentle breeze that helps calm the turbulent waters of your mind. It's about being fully present and aware of what's happening right now, without getting swept away by past regrets or future worries. Think of it as a way to observe your thoughts and feelings as they come, without getting tangled up in them. Imagine you're in a crowded room, and someone is speaking loudly. At first, the noise might be overwhelming. But if you focus on the speaker, you start to distinguish their words more clearly. Similarly, mindfulness helps you focus on the present moment, filtering out the noise of stress and distraction. When you practice mindfulness, you're training your mind to recognize and accept your thoughts and emotions without judgment. For instance, if you're feeling angry or anxious, instead of reacting immediately, mindfulness helps you pause and observe these feelings. This pause is powerful. It gives you space to choose how to respond rather than reacting impulsively. In Buddhism, mindfulness is a central practice. It's not just about meditation, but about integrating awareness into every part of life. When you eat, you savor each bite. When you walk, you feel the ground beneath your feet. This level of attention makes you more in tune with your own experiences and helps you handle them better. For example, let's say you're stuck in traffic and feeling frustrated. With mindfulness, instead of letting anger build up, you notice your frustration without letting it control you. You might take a few deep breaths, acknowledge your feelings, and remind yourself that this situation is temporary. This approach helps you stay calm and collected, no matter how stressful the situation. Practicing mindfulness also helps in understanding that everything in life is temporary. Our feelings, situations, and challenges come and go. By being present and aware, 
you can better appreciate the moment and let go of what you cannot control. The more you practice mindfulness, the easier it becomes to remain unshaken. You start to notice that you don't need to react to every disturbance. Instead, you can maintain your inner peace and clarity, regardless of external circumstances. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily life can be simple. Start with just a few minutes each day. Sit quietly, focus on your breath, and observe your thoughts without getting involved in them. Over time, these moments of mindfulness will build a stronger foundation of calm and resilience. As you continue this practice, you'll find that you handle life's challenges with greater ease. Mindfulness empowers you to stay centered, even when the external world seems chaotic. It's like having an inner compass that guides you through the stormy seas of life. So, the next time you face a difficult situation, remember that mindfulness is your ally. By staying present and observing your experiences without judgment, you can maintain your inner calm and remain unaffected by external disturbances. Lesson 4 Dealing with External Challenges Buddhist Strategies for Equanimity Imagine you're walking along a peaceful path, enjoying the sunshine. Suddenly, a storm brews and the wind picks up. What do you do? Do you let the storm shake you or do you find a way to stay calm? In life, external challenges are like those storms. They can be unexpected and powerful, but with the right approach, you can remain steady and serene. In Buddhism, there's a profound teaching about how to remain calm and balanced when faced with life's difficulties. This practice is known as equanimity, a state of mental and emotional balance that remains steady despite the ups and downs of life. Let's explore how you can cultivate this inner steadiness using Buddhist wisdom. First, understand that external challenges are a natural part of life. Just as storms are a natural part of weather, difficulties are a part of our journey. When you accept this, you stop fighting against the storm and start preparing for it. This shift in mindset is crucial. Buddhism teaches us to embrace the reality of change and uncertainty rather than resisting it. By acknowledging that challenges are inevitable, you begin to approach them with a sense of readiness rather than surprise. One key strategy in Buddhism for dealing with external challenges is mindful awareness. This practice involves being fully present and aware of your thoughts and feelings without getting overwhelmed by them. Imagine you're watching a movie. If you're deeply absorbed in the film, you might forget you're just watching and get caught up in the emotions of the characters. Similarly, when faced with a challenge, being mindful means you observe your reactions without letting them control you. This helps you maintain your inner balance even in the midst of chaos. Another important Buddhist principle is detachment. This doesn't mean you stop caring or become indifferent. Instead, it means you learn to let go of your attachment to specific outcomes. For instance, if you're working on a project and it doesn't go as planned, instead of being frustrated, you accept it as part of the process. This acceptance allows you to focus on what you can control, your own responses and actions, rather than being consumed by what you cannot change. Compassion is also a vital part of Buddhist practice in handling challenges. When faced with difficulties, especially those involving other people, approaching the situation with compassion can change everything. Instead of reacting with anger or frustration, try to understand the perspective of others involved. This doesn't mean you have to agree with them or accept poor behavior, but understanding where they're coming from can help you respond more calmly and thoughtfully. Buddhism also teaches the practice of non-attachment to success or failure. This means understanding that your worth and peace of mind are not dependent on the outcome of any particular situation. By focusing on your effort rather than the result, you can maintain equanimity regardless of whether things go well or not. This practice helps you stay grounded and prevents external events from dictating your inner state. Meditation is another powerful tool in Buddhist practice for dealing with external challenges. Regular meditation helps you develop a calm and clear mind. During meditation, you learn to observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice enhances your ability to remain calm and composed in everyday life, making it easier to handle unexpected challenges with grace. 
Acceptance is the final piece of the puzzle. Buddhism teaches that resistance to reality only creates more suffering. When you accept a situation as it is, you free yourself from the struggle against it. Acceptance doesn't mean you approve of everything that happens, but it allows you to move forward with a clear mind and a lighter heart. In summary, dealing with external challenges through Buddhist practices involves embracing the reality of change, practicing mindful awareness, letting go of attachment, responding with compassion, focusing on effort rather than outcome, using meditation to cultivate calm, and accepting what you cannot change. By applying these principles, you can navigate life storms with greater ease and maintain a sense of inner peace amidst the turbulence. Lesson 5. The Power of Detachment Embracing Non-Attachment Imagine a tree standing tall amidst a storm. Its branches sway and bend, but the tree remains rooted. This is how you can navigate the challenges of life, by embracing non-attachment. In Buddhism, non-attachment is not about giving up on life's joys, but about maintaining a calm heart regardless of external circumstances. Detachment isn't about losing interest or love for things or people. It's about understanding that our happiness does not depend solely on them. Think of your favorite book. It brings you joy, but if you lose it, your happiness shouldn't be entirely lost. You can still cherish the memories and move forward. In the same way, by practicing non-attachment, you ensure that your inner peace remains intact regardless of the external situations. Non-attachment helps you manage your emotions better. When you're attached, every little change in your external world can affect your mood. Imagine you've invested a lot of time and energy in a project, and it doesn't go as planned. Without non-attachment, you might feel devastated. But with non-attachment, you can acknowledge the setback without letting it define your emotional state. This doesn't mean you don't care. It means you're not letting your happiness depend on external outcomes. Consider the story of a monk who lived in a small hut. One day, a storm destroyed his hut. While others were grieving the loss of their homes, the monk calmly accepted the situation. He understood that his peace came from within, not from the walls around him. By practicing non-attachment, he could find peace even in loss. Detachment also allows you to love more freely. When you're not clinging to how others should behave or respond, you can offer love and kindness without expecting anything in return. This freedom in relationships means you're not setting yourself up for disappointment or frustration. You're giving love as a gift, not as a transaction. In Buddhism, non-attachment is closely linked to understanding the nature of impermanence. Everything changes, nothing lasts forever. By accepting this truth, you can appreciate what you have without becoming overly dependent on it. This acceptance is liberating. It allows you to experience life fully, without the fear of loss overshadowing your joy. The practice of non-attachment involves mindfulness. Being aware of your feelings and responses helps you notice when you're becoming overly attached. You might find yourself clinging to a relationship, a possession, or an outcome. By recognizing this, you can gently remind yourself that your peace does not depend on these external factors. It comes from within. Meditation can strengthen your practice of non-attachment. During meditation, you observe your thoughts and feelings without getting involved in them. This practice helps you develop a sense of distance from your attachments. You learn to watch your emotions and desires come and go, like clouds passing through the sky, without being swayed by them. Non-attachment also means letting go of grudges and past hurts. Holding on to anger or resentment keeps you tied to those negative feelings. By practicing non-attachment, you release these burdens, freeing yourself to live more peacefully. You understand that holding on to negativity affects you more than anyone else. In practical terms, Embracing non-attachment can be as simple as acknowledging when you're feeling overly concerned about something. Take a step back and remind yourself that while it's okay to care, your peace doesn't have to be disturbed by it. This perspective shift can be incredibly empowering. Non-attachment encourages you to find joy in the present moment. Instead of waiting for something external to make you happy, you learn to appreciate the beauty of now. 
Whether it's a beautiful sunset, a moment with a loved one, or a quiet morning, your happiness comes from fully experiencing these moments, not from holding on to them. Cultivating non-attachment is a journey. It's about gradually letting go of the need to control and holding on to things tightly. Each step you take in this direction helps you build a more resilient and peaceful mind. It's like training for a marathon. It takes time and practice, but the benefits are profound. In your daily life, start by observing your reactions. Notice when you're feeling overly attached to something or someone. Ask yourself if your happiness is dependent on this attachment. By regularly practicing this awareness, you build a habit of non-attachment. Non-attachment also helps in dealing with change. Life is full of shifts and uncertainties. When you're not attached to a specific outcome or situation, you can adapt more easily to new circumstances. This flexibility allows you to move through life's ups and downs with greater ease. Remember, non-attachment is not about denying your feelings or experiences. It's about recognizing that while these things are part of your life, they do not define your inner state. Your peace comes from your understanding and acceptance of this truth. As you continue to practice non-attachment, you'll find that your relationships and experiences become richer. You can engage with life fully without being overwhelmed by it. Your happiness becomes less about the external world and more about your inner state. Ultimately, non-attachment helps you find a deeper, more stable source of happiness. It's not dependent on fleeting external conditions, but on a profound understanding of your own nature and the nature of life. Embracing non-attachment brings a sense of freedom and peace. You're no longer tied down by the highs and lows of external events. Instead, you move through life with a steady heart and a clear mind, ready to face whatever comes with calm and grace. So, take a moment to reflect on your attachments. Notice where you might be holding on too tightly. With each step you take toward non-attachment, you're creating a space for more genuine and lasting peace in your life. In summary, non-attachment is a powerful tool for maintaining inner calm and happiness. It's not about withdrawing from life, but about engaging with it in a way that keeps your peace intact, regardless of external circumstances. Feel free to ask if you need more details or have other parts you'd like to work on. Lesson six, the influence of karma, how it shapes our reactions. Imagine you're walking through a serene forest. The trees are tall, the air is fresh, and the path is peaceful. Suddenly, a branch snaps and falls in your path. You might stumble, react with surprise, or even frustration. But if you understand the nature of the forest, its trees, its wildlife, its rhythms, your reaction might be different. You would recognize the branch as a part of the forest's natural cycle something inevitable rather than an unexpected nuisance. This analogy helps us understand karma. In Buddhism, karma refers to the law of cause and effect. Every action we take, every thought we have, plants a seed that will grow into a result or fruit in our lives. Just as the forest branch falling is a natural event, the results of our actions, both positive and negative, are natural outcomes of our previous behaviors. But why does this matter to us? Because understanding karma helps us remain unaffected by external disturbances. If we view our reactions through the lens of karma, we start to see that every challenge or situation is a result of our past actions and decisions. It's not random. It's a direct result of the seeds we've planted in our lives. For example, let's say you're facing a difficult situation at work. Perhaps a colleague is consistently unkind to you. It's easy to feel hurt or frustrated. But if we apply the concept of karma, we can view this situation differently. We can recognize that our response to this person is part of our current karma, shaped by how we handle the situation and how we respond to it. The next step is understanding that we can change our karma. If we wish for better outcomes, we must plant better seeds. This means acting with kindness, compassion, and understanding even when faced with challenges. Each positive action we take creates positive karma, leading to more favorable conditions in the future. This is not about blaming ourselves for every difficulty. 
It's about empowering ourselves with the knowledge that our reactions and actions are what shape our future experiences. We hold the power to influence our lives by how we respond to what comes our way. Karma also teaches us to be patient and forgiving. When we encounter difficulties or unkindness from others, it's an opportunity to respond with grace. Our reaction will plant seeds for future positive outcomes. It helps us stay grounded and unaffected by negative influences because we understand that we are shaping our own experiences. In Buddhism, understanding karma encourages us to cultivate mindfulness. When we are mindful of our actions and their consequences, we become more aware of how we are shaping our lives. This awareness helps us act with intention and compassion rather than reacting impulsively. Consider the practice of meditation. When we meditate, we observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice helps us recognize how our past actions influence our current state of mind. By becoming aware of these patterns, we can change how we react to situations. By understanding karma, we can better manage our reactions and maintain our inner peace. We realize that external events are not the true source of our distress. Rather, it's how we interpret and respond to these events that matters. This perspective helps us remain unaffected by the external chaos and focus on cultivating a calm and centered mind. In summary, the concept of karma provides us with a framework to understand how our actions and reactions influence our experiences. It empowers us to take control of our lives by recognizing that we have the ability to shape our future through our present actions. By aligning with this understanding, we can remain unaffected by external disturbances and foster a state of inner peace and resilience. Embracing impermanence, adapting to change gracefully. Life is like a flowing river, ever-changing, never the same from one moment to the next. Imagine trying to hold onto the water in your hands. It slips away no matter how hard you try. This is the essence of impermanence, a core principle in Buddhism, which teaches us that everything in life is in a constant state of flux. Understanding and accepting this can help us adapt to change with grace and serenity. Have you ever tried to hold onto a moment of happiness or a particular situation, only to find it slipping through your fingers? This feeling of resistance often comes from our natural inclination to cling to what is familiar and comfortable. But what if we could learn to flow with life's changes rather than resist them? Consider a tree in the wind. The tree doesn't fight against the gusts. Instead, it bends and sways, finding balance in the movement. Similarly, by embracing the idea that change is a constant part of life, we can learn to adapt more easily and avoid unnecessary stress and disappointment. Welcome to Wisdom Woven. In this video, we'll explore how understanding impermanence can lead to a more peaceful and fulfilling life. If you find this content valuable, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insights. So, why is impermanence such a powerful concept? In Buddhism, the recognition of impermanence helps us see that our experiences, whether joyful or painful, are temporary. This realization can help us appreciate the present moment without clinging to it. When we understand that nothing lasts forever, we can embrace the changes that come our way, whether they are small daily shifts or major life transitions. Imagine the last time you faced a difficult change, like moving to a new city or starting a new job. At first, it might have seemed overwhelming, but with time, you adjusted, found your footing, and perhaps even grew to appreciate the new situation. This process of adaptation is a natural part of dealing with impermanence. Buddhist teachings suggest that suffering often arises from our attachment to things staying the same. When we hold on to the past or worry about the future, we miss out on the richness of the present moment. By accepting that change is inevitable, we can reduce our anxiety and become more resilient in the face of life's uncertainties. One practical way to embrace impermanence is through mindfulness. By paying attention to the present moment without judgment, we can better appreciate the here and now and respond to changes more calmly. Mindfulness helps us observe our thoughts and feelings without getting overwhelmed by them. Another technique is to practice letting go. 
This doesn't mean giving up on our goals or desires, but rather releasing our rigid expectations about how things should be. By remaining flexible and open to new possibilities, we can navigate changes with a sense of ease and curiosity. Consider the example of a river's journey. It starts as a small stream, meandering through various terrains, eventually joining larger bodies of water. Along its path, it encounters rocks, bends, and obstacles, but it doesn't resist or stop. It flows around them. Similarly, our lives are a continuous journey with inevitable twists and turns. Embracing these changes allows us to move forward gracefully. Understanding impermanence also encourages us to cherish each moment more deeply. When we realize that each experience, whether joyful or challenging, is temporary, we can fully engage with it, knowing that it is a unique part of our journey. This perspective helps us to live more fully and appreciate the beauty in the fleeting moments of life. In summary, embracing impermanence means recognizing that change is a natural part of existence. By accepting and adapting to this reality, we can reduce our suffering, increase our resilience, and find peace amidst the ever-changing flow of life. Lesson 8 Transforming Negative Energy Buddhist Approaches to Inner Calm In life, we all encounter moments of negativity. Whether it's a grumpy coworker, a frustrating situation, or our own inner struggles, it's easy for this negative energy to weigh us down and disturb our peace of mind. But in Buddhism, we have powerful ways to handle and transform this negativity into calmness and clarity. Let's explore how. Imagine you're holding a glass of water and it's filled with mud. If you keep shaking the glass, the water remains murky and unclear. But if you let it sit still, the mud will eventually settle and the water will become clear again. This is how our minds work with negative energy. Constant agitation keeps us muddled, while calmness allows us to clear our thoughts. The first step in transforming negative energy is awareness. Just like you would notice the muddy water in the glass, you need to recognize when negative energy enters your mind. This awareness helps you understand that the negativity is not who you are. It's just a passing state. Buddhism teaches us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment. By doing so, we can see them for what they are, temporary and changeable. Next, Buddhism offers practical techniques to shift this negative energy. One such practice is mindfulness. Mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment with an open, non-judgmental attitude. When you're mindful, you're fully engaged in what's happening right now, rather than getting caught up in worries about the past or future. This presence helps us manage negative thoughts because we're not allowing ourselves to dwell on them. Another effective technique is meditation. Meditation is like a mental workout. Just as physical exercise strengthens the body, meditation strengthens the mind. Through regular practice, you develop the ability to let go of negative thoughts and emotions. You learn to observe them without being overwhelmed. Imagine a peaceful lake. When it's calm, you can see the reflections clearly. Similarly, a calm mind reflects a clearer perspective on negative situations. Buddhism also teaches the practice of loving-kindness meditation. This involves sending positive thoughts and feelings toward yourself and others. By cultivating love and kindness, you replace negative energy with positive, uplifting feelings. This practice not only helps in dealing with negative situations, but also enhances your overall sense of well-being. Additionally, engaging in self-compassion is vital. When negative energy arises, instead of being harsh on yourself, treat yourself with kindness. Acknowledge your struggles and remind yourself that it's okay to feel upset. Buddhism encourages us to be gentle with ourselves and recognize that everyone experiences challenges. Another powerful approach is the practice of forgiveness. Holding on to grudges or resentment keeps negative energy alive. Buddhism teaches that forgiveness is not just for the person who wronged you. It's a gift you give yourself. By letting go of bitterness, you free yourself from the burden of negative energy and make space for inner peace. Embracing impermanence is also crucial. In Buddhism, we understand that everything is in constant flux. 
This means that negative feelings, like all things, are temporary. By accepting this, we can let go of the grip that negative energy has on us. When we acknowledge that all experiences are fleeting, we become less attached to them and more resilient. Remember, it's about transforming, not eliminating. Negative energy will arise, but it's how we handle it that matters. By using these Buddhist practices, you can shift your perspective and transform negativity into a source of growth and understanding. The goal isn't to live a life free from negative energy, but to learn how to respond to it in a way that maintains your inner calm and clarity. As you continue to practice these techniques, you'll find that your ability to handle negative energy improves. Your mind will become like that clear, still lake, reflecting a tranquil and balanced state. This transformation not only enhances your personal well-being, but also positively impacts those around you. In summary, Buddhism provides us with tools to manage and transform negative energy. Through awareness, mindfulness, meditation, loving-kindness, self-compassion, forgiveness, and acceptance of impermanence, we can maintain our inner calm despite external challenges. By practicing these methods, you're not just managing negative energy, you're cultivating a deeper, more resilient sense of peace. Lesson 9. Developing Compassion Without Losing Yourself In the journey of life, we often find ourselves caring deeply for others. This compassion is a beautiful quality, but it can sometimes lead us to feel overwhelmed or drained. How can we show compassion while maintaining our own peace and balance? Let's explore this concept through the lens of Buddhist teachings. Imagine you are a lantern. Your light can warm and guide others, but if you don't take care of your own flame, you risk burning out. Compassion is like the light you offer, but if you forget to refuel it, it can become a burden. Buddhism teaches us to cultivate compassion in a way that nourishes both ourselves and others. To begin, understand that compassion does not mean losing yourself. It means recognizing another's suffering and offering support, while also setting boundaries to protect your own well-being. Think of a gardener tending to plants. They nurture their garden, but they also ensure that they have enough water and energy to keep going. Similarly, you need to care for yourself while you care for others. One key practice is to maintain a sense of detachment. This doesn't mean becoming indifferent, but rather understanding that you cannot control others' responses or outcomes. Imagine you're a sailboat on a vast ocean. You can adjust your sails to navigate through the waters, but you cannot control the wind. Similarly, you can offer compassion, but you must accept that the results are not always within your control. Another important aspect is setting healthy boundaries. Compassion does not mean you have to say yes to every request or problem. It's like a reservoir of water. If you give too much without refilling it, it will run dry. Setting boundaries ensures that you have the strength and resources to continue offering support without depleting yourself. Meditation is a powerful tool in developing compassion without losing yourself. Through meditation, you can cultivate a deep sense of inner peace and clarity. This inner calm helps you respond to others with kindness and patience, rather than reacting out of frustration or exhaustion. Regular meditation practice can also help you understand and balance your own needs alongside your desire to help others. Practicing self-compassion is equally important. Just as you show kindness to others, extend that same kindness to yourself. When you are kind to yourself, you are more resilient and better equipped to support others. It's like being on a long journey. If you care for yourself along the way, you can travel further and help more people. In Buddhism, there is a concept called loving-kindness meditation, or metta. This practice involves sending out feelings of love and compassion to yourself and others. By starting with yourself, you ensure that you have a solid foundation of self-love and acceptance, which makes it easier to extend genuine compassion to others. It's also helpful to remember that compassion is a practice, not a destination. It requires ongoing effort and self-awareness. Be patient with yourself as you learn to balance caring for others with caring for yourself. Like any skill, it improves with practice and mindfulness. 
Remember that compassion is not about solving all the problems in the world or taking on the weight of others' struggles. It's about offering kindness and support while understanding your own limits. Think of it as lighting a candle for someone in need. You can light their path without extinguishing your own flame. Lastly, cherish and celebrate your own achievements in this journey. Recognize when you have successfully balanced compassion and self-care. Each step forward is a testament to your growth and understanding. Reflect on these moments and let them inspire you to continue this path with renewed vigor. By integrating these practices into your daily life, you can offer compassion without losing yourself. Like a river flowing gently through the landscape, you can support others while maintaining your own inner peace. In doing so, you embody the essence of true compassion as taught in Buddhism, creating a harmonious balance between caring for others and nurturing your own well-being. The impact of meditation on emotional stability. Imagine a calm, serene lake. Its surface is perfectly still, reflecting the sky without any ripples. This tranquility mirrors the state of our minds when we practice meditation regularly. Meditation helps us maintain emotional stability by bringing clarity and calmness to our mental landscape. In our busy lives, emotions can often feel like stormy weather. Stress, anger, and anxiety can create waves that disrupt our inner peace. But meditation acts as a gentle, guiding hand, smoothing out these rough waters. It helps us remain unaffected by the turbulence around us. Why is meditation so powerful in stabilizing our emotions? When we sit in meditation, we create a space to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice allows us to see our emotions as they are, without getting caught up in them. We learn to respond to them with mindfulness rather than reacting impulsively. Think of meditation as training for the mind. Just like physical exercise strengthens our bodies, meditation strengthens our mental resilience. By regularly sitting in stillness, we build the ability to handle emotional storms with grace and composure. How does this process work? During meditation, we focus on our breath, a simple yet profound practice. The breath becomes an anchor, grounding us in the present moment. Each time our mind wanders, we gently bring our attention back to our breath. This practice teaches us patience and acceptance, both crucial for emotional stability. Imagine you're holding a heavy stone. As long as you hold it, your arm will be tired. But once you put the stone down, the weight is lifted. Similarly, meditation helps us let go of the mental and emotional burdens we carry. It teaches us to set down our worries and anxieties, making space for inner peace. Meditation also helps us recognize the impermanence of emotions. Just as waves on a lake eventually settle, our feelings change over time. Meditation helps us understand that no matter how intense our emotions may be, they are temporary. This realization allows us to remain calm and not be overwhelmed by fleeting feelings. Through consistent practice, we begin to notice a shift in our reactions. Where we once might have reacted with anger or frustration, we now respond with a sense of calm and understanding. This change in response helps us maintain emotional stability even in challenging situations. The benefits of meditation extend beyond the meditation cushion. As we cultivate mindfulness through our practice, we start to carry this sense of calm into our daily lives. We become more aware of our emotional triggers and develop a greater ability to navigate them with ease. This awareness fosters a deeper sense of emotional stability. Another key aspect is the development of compassion and understanding towards ourselves. Meditation encourages us to be gentle with ourselves, especially when we face difficulties. This self-compassion reinforces our emotional resilience, allowing us to deal with life's ups and downs more effectively. In Buddhism, meditation is not just a practice but a way of life. It helps us align with our true nature, which is inherently peaceful and stable. By practicing meditation, we align our minds with this natural state, fostering a deeper sense of emotional balance and well-being. Let's consider a simple exercise. Find a quiet space, sit comfortably, and close your eyes. Focus on your breath. 
When your mind drifts, gently guide it back to your breath. Start with a few minutes each day and gradually increase the time. Notice how this practice affects your emotional responses over time. Remember, meditation is a journey, not a destination. It's not about achieving perfect calmness, but about developing a consistent practice that helps you manage your emotions more effectively. With patience and persistence, the benefits of meditation will become evident in your daily life. As you continue to practice, you'll find that meditation becomes a natural part of your routine. It's like having a reliable tool to help you navigate the complexities of life. This practice supports your emotional stability and enriches your overall well-being. In summary, meditation plays a crucial role in maintaining emotional stability. By providing a space for mindfulness and self-awareness, it helps us manage our emotions with greater ease. With regular practice, we build resilience and cultivate a sense of inner peace that supports us through life's challenges. Sustaining unaffectedness, daily practices for long-term peace. In the gentle rhythm of our daily lives, it's easy to get caught up in the whirl of emotions and external pressures. We all strive for that calm, peaceful state where nothing can shake us. So how do we maintain this inner peace over the long haul? Let's dive into daily practices that can help us sustain a sense of unaffectedness. Drawing from the wisdom of Buddhism. Start your day with intention. Imagine beginning each day with a fresh canvas. By setting a clear intention in the morning, you're preparing your mind for a day of calm and clarity. This could be as simple as taking a few moments to breathe deeply and visualize a peaceful day ahead. This practice aligns your mind with a sense of purpose and tranquility. Embrace mindful moments. Throughout the day, take small pauses to check in with yourself. Mindfulness isn't about having a perfect, untroubled mind all the time. It's about being aware of your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Whether you're eating, walking, or even just waiting in line, bring your attention to the present moment. Notice the sensations, smells, and sounds around you. These mindful moments can anchor you, preventing external stress from overwhelming your inner peace. Practice non-attachment. One of the core teachings in Buddhism is the practice of non-attachment. This doesn't mean you stop caring about things or people, but rather you let go of the need for them to be a certain way to be content. By releasing attachment to specific outcomes or possessions, you cultivate a more resilient and unaffected mind. Remember, true contentment comes from within, not from external sources. Cultivate gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool for maintaining a peaceful mind. Each day, take a moment to reflect on the things you're thankful for. Could be your health, your loved ones, or even the simple beauty of a sunrise. By focusing on what you appreciate, you shift your attention away from what might disturb your peace. Gratitude helps to center your mind and foster a positive outlook. Engage in regular meditation. Meditation is like a workout for your mind. Regular practice helps you develop a calm and centered state of being. Find a quiet space, sit comfortably, and focus on your breath. Even just a few minutes a day can make a difference. Meditation trains your mind to respond to stress with calmness and clarity reinforcing your sense of unaffectedness. Reflect on impermanence. Everything in life is temporary, and understanding this can help you remain unaffected by changes and challenges. Reflecting on the impermanent nature of experiences, both good and bad, allows you to approach them with a sense of equanimity. When you remember that every moment, whether joyful or difficult, is fleeting, you can maintain a balanced perspective. Build compassion without overextending yourself. Compassion is central to Buddhist practice, but it's important to balance compassion for others with self-care. You can offer kindness and support to those around you without letting their struggles disrupt your inner peace. By maintaining healthy boundaries, you can show compassion while preserving your own sense of calm and stability. Detach from negative thoughts. Negative thoughts can cloud your mind and disturb your peace. Practice observing these thoughts without letting them control you. When a negative thought arises, acknowledge it and then let it pass. This practice helps you create distance between yourself and your thoughts, 
allowing you to maintain a more peaceful state of mind. Use daily challenges as opportunities for growth. View everyday challenges as opportunities to practice your new skills in remaining unaffected. Whether it's a disagreement with a friend or a stressful situation at work, approach these moments with a mindset of growth. Each challenge is a chance to apply the principles of mindfulness, non-attachment, and equanimity you've been cultivating. Connect with your inner self. Spend time in quiet reflection to connect with your inner self. Journaling, deep breathing, or simply sitting in silence can help you stay in touch with your core values and feelings. This connection reinforces your sense of peace and helps you stay grounded, even when external circumstances are chaotic. Seek balance in your life. Balance is key to maintaining peace. Ensure that your daily life includes activities that nurture both your mind and body. Engage in exercise, pursue hobbies, and spend time with loved ones. By creating a balanced life, you reduce stress and create a stable foundation for inner peace. Let go of perfectionism. Striving for perfection can create unnecessary stress and disappointment. Instead, embrace the idea of doing your best without being attached to specific outcomes. Understand that imperfection is part of being human, and accepting this can help you maintain a more relaxed and unaffected mindset. Nurture your spiritual practice. Finally, continue to nurture your spiritual practice, whatever form it may take. This could be through studying Buddhist teachings, participating in a spiritual community, or simply committing to daily practices. Your spiritual practice supports your journey towards sustained peace and helps you stay unaffected by life's ups and downs. By incorporating these practices into your daily routine, you can build a strong foundation for long-term peace and unaffectedness. Remember, the journey toward inner calm is ongoing. With patience and dedication, you'll find that maintaining a peaceful state of mind becomes a natural part of your life. Thank you for joining us on this journey to explore how to remain unaffected. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more insights and guidance. Your support helps us bring more wisdom and peace into the world.